In this video, I want to show you how to pick where you're going to save your tool center point data and your world object data, as well as I'll show you how to transfer that program that you've created in Robot Studio over to a real world robot without interrupting any programs that might be running on that robot. This will allow you to, at a later point, when the robot is no longer running its current application, switch over and test and set up your new application with minimizing downtime on a potential production line. Let's start by opening up the solution that we've created earlier. In my case, I called my solution ABB Lab 4 Video. We'll wait for the controller to start up. And then we'll go over to the Rapid tab. Next, you'll want to select on Synchronize and do a Synchronize to Rapid. Now, you'll notice when you first synchronize to Rapid, your paths, targets, and your program are all saved to a module called Module 1. By default, your tool data is stored to calibration data and your work object is stored to calibration data. In this case, I'm going to transfer this all to module one. What this will do is this will put the tool data and work object data and program all into the same module. So instead of having separate individual modules that will get loaded into the robot, this associates everything for this particular project into one module. And then we'll say OK. The next thing we'll do is we'll go over here to program and we will save our program as. I'm going to call this lab for Rob because I'm going to transfer it to robot. and say save. Once this is finished saving, we can then go over to the controller tab and grab our real world controller. In this case, I'm sitting closest to Bender. So I'll grab a hold of him. And then what we're actually going to do is we're going to do a file transfer. Now there's multiple different ways that you can actually transfer your project to a robot. You can create a link or relation between your robot studio file and the robot and then move the program into memory. The downfall to doing it this way is when you do it by moving it into memory, it actually will overwrite the existing program that's running on the robot. In this situation, we don't want to do that. We want to actually put this file that we just created into the hard drive on the robot so that we can open it at a later date. To do this, we'll select on File Transfer. You'll notice we have PC Explorer on this side and we have the Controller Explorer on this side. And the robot that we're connected to here has the correct IP address and we're saving in the home directory currently. So I don't want to save under the home directory. In fact, I want to go into student programs. Now going back over to my computer, in my case, I've saved most of my files to my C drive. You may have saved them to another location. In this case, you need to go and find that project that you're just working with. Mine is called ABB Lab 4 Video. I've saved mine under Solutions, ABB Lab 4 Video. Once you go into there, you'll find this Rapid Programs folder. This is where that program that you just created resides. So now we can grab that folder and hit this blue arrow to move that folder over to the real robot. Now, if we take a look at this folder on the robot, you'll notice there's the calibration data, the lab 4 program and module 1. So everything we need to run that program is now existing within that folder. The next step of the procedure will be to go to the robot, go into program manager, 
save whatever program might be running, and open up your program. Then the very important thing to keep in mind is that once you're at that real world robot, you need to reteach that tool center point because there's a good chance that the real world tool might be a little bit different than your tool in Robot Studio. And you also need to reteach the points for the world object. If you're watching this video as part of your labs at SAIT, you can continue on to find the section in the manual that shows how to reteach a tool center point that already exists and also how to reteach that world object. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.